So Simo, these beautiful, beautiful roads that we're on at the moment. Yeah. I bet you our audience right now doesn't know where we are. So yeah, I'd like to go down the comment section just just right now. So you can get a comment out there. And yeah, guess you... where we are right now. Because we think that you can't guess. Okay. Maybe you can. Um let's let's give them like Ten, There's a few clues, seconds, right? To like do that. You'll, you might know what country we're in if you look at the signs. You might know. You might know. Yeah, you might. I mean, uh, there's some giveaways there with all the Chinese writing. Okay, so yeah, we're in China. <laughs> okay, so where in China are we? Look at that beautiful lake. Oh, look at that. It's a river. It's a lake. river. It's a river For lake. For God's sake. <laughs> this is the third time you messed up bodies of water. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a river lake. Anyway, we're in this beautiful countryside and we are, if you haven't guessed it, by now, right near the border of North Korea. We're in Jilin province and it's gonna be interesting for you guys because we have never filmed up north on our ADV episodes. Yeah, we haven't actually. Uh, we're already at day 12 of our little conquering northern China trip. Which, oh my god. Yeah, you can skip those. Yeah, no, because there's a guy there. Oh, uh, watch out, there could be trains here. There's no booms. So. Day 12, eh? Oh, no, there is a boom. Yeah, we're on. Uh, we're on day 12, uh, day 12 Ow. of our epic adventure conquering northern China. Guys, this is going to blow so. your mind. Now, careful, there's cars. There's cars. Um, so clean after that? Yeah, yeah, it's clean after that car. This trip is going to blow your mind. It is literally the biggest adventure we've ever done. Um, and we have been filming non-stop <laughs> crazy amounts of footage. It's going to be in 4K. Actually, this is going to be our first 4K ADV China, isn't it? It's true. Uh, Enjoy the crispy, crispy footage here. Yeah, crisp. the new GoPro Hero 5s are quite doing us quite well. They certainly are. Anyway, all in 4K, but man, the kind of stuff we've been up to, and uh, it's oh. just too much. <laughs> Every day has been chock full of all sorts of interesting things. Right. Why are there rocks in the Little middle three of the road? Wheeler. Oh yeah, they love these three-wheel cars up here. Yeah, up north you see them. You, they're illegal down south. You can't drive right. them. Um, anyway. This is basically the toughest day of the ride. It's going to be. You wouldn't be able to tell because it looks so beautiful out here. It is stunning. It's stunningly beautiful it's out here. It's difficult to take it seriously because we have been kind of spoiled with the roads up here. And like if you've been following us on our, our show, you'll yeah. know that the roads down south can be pretty crap. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And we've been going through some crap stuff, you know, down south for a while now. but. These roads are absolutely incredible and um, it's difficult to take it seriously because we're about to enter a very, very sensitive, you know, political situation here. Where, where are yeah, we going? Yeah, we're going down here. Down here? So it happens when you go ahead of the lead dude with the GPS. Yeah. <laughs> now go ahead, just continue on this 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 road right here. Yeah. So yes, we are in China, obviously. Yeah. We're getting we very, very close. Now, apparently, as we are riding down here, we're still in the Chinese area, but even though we'll still be in mainland China, the areas we're going to will be full of Koreans. And they speak Korean yes. as their first language and the signs will be in Korean and everything. So it should be really, really interesting because it'll be like, you think of North Korea and South Korea as two countries and then there's kind of like China Korea. Yes. Which is the, all these Korean people that ended up in China uh, because of the whole Korean War situation. But anyway, this should be quite interesting. We, we should be heading into that area very, very soon. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel though? Well. Last night when we pulled into that city of Tonghua, late at night, it was freezing cold. I right. noticed a whole lot of armed soldiers walking around. You right. Know, fully, like not, not the type of uh, soldiers you see on parade, like proper wearing combat gear, helmets, right. you know. Right. And um, that's still quite far away from the border. We're now currently heading pretty much directly towards the border. Right. And I have a feeling that the closer we get, watch out for that dude. Um, and yeah, continue straight. I have a feeling that the closer we get, the more difficult it's going to be. I mean, you'll be able to tell when our documentary comes out, we've been filming, you know, pretty much everything that's going on. We're going to be filming down there. It's going to be difficult. And uh, we're going to have to be very sort of clandestine, you know? Um, right. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm actually feeling fairly stressed because this is the make or break part of the trip. And I think I will start feeling stressed Ow! Yeah. when we hit our first military checkpoint, which is almost guaranteed. Yes. I'm just it. waiting for it to pop up out of nowhere here. Absolutely. I mean, this whole area is home to North Korean refugees that have skirted the border. And in China, they have a policy that they'll send them back to North Korea. So it's pretty, 
it's pretty worrying that if we run into anything you know a little bit sensitive with cameras out we could be we could be screwed yeah i mean even when i was doing my trip through america when i was driving down near the mexican border border patrol stopped my car <laughs> twice asking for my passport and things like that and that's and that's freaking mexico yeah that's me in america <laughs> like this is a completely different story you know there'll be a lot more questions but yeah, oh, yeah. i'm kind of excited to get this part of the trip done so I'm excited we can to do it and get it done yeah so we uh, can enjoy it yeah yeah i'll enjoy looking at it afterwards i'm not enjoying going into it right yeah i am right going to be happy once we're kind of up in inner mongolia and uh, away from from this part but yeah right yeah in, away from the sensitive areas yeah correct anyway i just got to say that i'm really happy with the way the show's been going so far and uh you know knock on wood you know we're going to be good for the rest of the trip and yep. everyone's going to have a fantastic amazing documentary of never before seen china to watch and if you guys have never if you guys don't see this video that means something really really bad happened yeah so <laughs> so Milk, anything you'd like to say to our subscribers before we sign off no matter what korea you're from the Chinese one, or the North Korean one, or the South Korean one, or even if you're not Korean, I implore you to uh, go downstairs, hit that like button, it helps us kind of get our videos out there. We don't usually like to ask for people to do things if they didn't like the video, but if you did, go down there and do that because it helps us out. Comment, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and kind of follow us as we keep going around China. Yeah, and whether you don't know the difference between Koreans, Japanese, and Chinese, and Vietnamese, or if you actually do know the difference, which you probably should, uh, <laughs> yeah. we love you so. all the same. So until next time, guys, you know the drill. Stay awesome. Take a breath, you fill up my lungs yeah. And if my mind